We've actually reached a milestone. We've got 10,000 subscribers to our channel Yay! now. Yay! 10,000, it's amazing, isn't it? It's just unbelievable. I remember when we first started, we had 200 subscribers. I said on a video, blimey, 200 people watching this rubbish. <laughs> now we've got 10,000 watching this rubbish. But I um, just want to thank you all for uh, sticking along with us. And um, some of you I know have been with us right from the beginning. And some people have just watched little episodes now and again. But yeah. all of you, everybody counts. Everybody that's pushed that button, it really helps, really makes a difference to us. Yes, yeah, so uh, let's get it up to 20,000 then. And it just encourages us to go on. You know, if we know that people like what we're doing. We're just more encouraged to go on and do more. So, um, so please hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Ding that notification bell. Because the, the more people that subscribe, the more Google push us out there on YouTube. And uh, the, the more pennies we get from YouTube, which is nice. It keeps us going. Yes, it does. So we've got a little bit of a video coming up from things we've done in the recent past before the world stood still. <laughs> and... Uh, Thanks for watching. Thank That's you. It. Cheers. No, is there anything in there? Oh. Well, it's the Macclesfield Canal Society have uh, produced a, a map and information booklet. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Look at that. It's got all the services, all the information points, everything. So Great. we'll keep that, and I think we should put a couple of pennies in the box. Yeah. Oh, Hang on a minute. <laughs> that can stay. That's a shopping trolley token. <laughs> Well, we're in a sorry. lovely little location. What are you sorry for? Because I was wriggling further to start again. <laughs> well, we're in a lovely location. This is Hall Green Stop Lock. It's just got a rise and fall of one foot. And uh, in the old days, it would either have been a toll gate lock uh, or a means of just controlling the water between different water authorities. But uh, we're just doing a few miles today going to Congleton. Yes, we've got exciting times coming up. Somebody is coming to uh, replace our batteries for us and weld a new plate on to put them in a different position. So we need to find somewhere where they can bring all their heavy uh, welding equipment um, next to the boat. So we'll just see. We're not quite sure what's at Congleton. We've been there before, but I can't remember. I can't remember so it either. We're looking for somewhere where we can get the boat <clears> and the car as close as possible. So it's going to be a nice little cruise. Rich's foot is still a bit sore, so you're going back down inside, I think, and leaving me in charge of the boat. I'll be all right. It's just, <laughs> thank you all for, for all your uh, questions about how my foot is. Uh, it's a lot better. I managing to do, I walked a mile yesterday, so that was yeah. quite good, albeit very slowly. The only thing that isn't getting better is your shoulder. No, my shoulder's really poorly. Um, but it's okay, I'm managing to do most things. It's just, I can't make certain movements. And when I do, unexpectedly, the nerve pain is unbelievable. But uh, it's not actually stopping me from doing very much. I just do it a bit awkwardly. <laughs> Won't go into details. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> 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 like getting dressed, I was uh, talking about. Yes, yeah, one has, one has had to help you pull your trousers up occasionally. <laughs> but that's nothing different. And uh, so good old ga uh, Darren's going to come tomorrow and... Um, well, it's the day after tomorrow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Saturday. Day after tomorrow. And fit these batteries and relocate them for us and tidy them up a little bit. It's a bit of a mess down there. Um, there's a water point just there, so although we've only oh, yeah. filled up with water two days ago, we'll just top up again and fill all the water bottles up. And that's about it at the moment, the isn't it? life goes on as normal, doesn't it? And it's beautiful out. I've just found my first um, sprigs of wild garlic. I've been trying to convince Rich that blackberry buds and shoots are brilliant to eat, which they're supposed to be. <laughs> and they are, you eat them raw, they're nutty and gorgeous. 
But I can't convince him, but if uh, food supplies get too short, no doubt I'll get him on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> But it's lovely. It's not warm, but spring is definitely in the air, oh, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. It's a lovely day. It's a mild, windless day. It's lovely. And there are boats moving. A few mm. boats have been th past us today. Um, and we haven't been within 10 feet of anybody, I think, today, despite no. cruising along a little bit. So only, only each other. There's no problems. And I'm walking around with my hands in my pockets because the uh, edict is not to touch your face because it still stopped the spreading so fast. And I'm always touching my face. I can't touch my face because I can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get going. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, I should have done this side first, shouldn't I? I stepped across the boat. Saved my legs. Just occurred to me, I'm looking very orange and brown today. <laughs> Fashion. So far. Lovely stuff. Nice one, friend. Such a good uh, helms lady person. Much better than me. I'm a bit gung ho, as I've said before. So I'll just tie up to the centre line and uh, have a cup of coffee while the boat's filling up with water. Bit of a mucky towpath here. <laughs> you know things have been a little bit sparse in the uh, supermarkets at the moment there's not a lot of uh, fresh vegetables around we've got a lovely vegetable curry cooking with potatoes and chickpeas but I'm on a hunt and I'm foraging just for some fresh greenery and vitamins to add to the curry so um, we'll see how we get along And this is what I'm after. Some lovely fresh nettles growing high enough up that um, hopefully they haven't got any dogwe on them. And I'm gonna be brave and still try and grasp them really quickly so they don't sting. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Ow, they did sting me. We'll try once more and then I might have to grab the gloves. <laughs> no, that one was okay. Yeah, we'll see how we go. It might be a case of putting on the gloves, I think, if I'm going to pick too many. And we're going to put them in the curry. So I'm a little bit stung, but um, <laughs> what I'm going to do now is just um, put these into boiling water as they are. 
and just steep them down. Ow, ow. <laughs> I should just put a lid on them, uh, wilt them, and that takes the sting right out of them. Then I can pick the nice leaves off and pop them into the curry. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of curry, hun. Yeah, but we've got people coming tomorrow, so that's all right. Um, that's to feed. Uh, that's to feed the workers if they get the batteries working well. Curry pasties. Yes, curry, curries. Yeah, not Cornish pasties. Curry pasties tomorrow lunchtime. It smells good, actually. It smells fresh. fresh. Yeah. It smells green. In the you know when we're lacking in fresh vegetables at the moment. That's uh, something simple that you can do just to get some vitamins into you. Is that, is that high concentrate of vitamin C, is it? These or Yeah, vitamin C. I'm sure there's other stuff. I think iron, actually, oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, I think. But uh, I will let them cool now and I'll pick the leaves off, take the tough stems out and just pop them in the curry. Just like a spinach. You won't know the difference. I won't tell our workers tomorrow they're eating stinging nettles because they probably won't like it. But I'll just tell them it's spinach in there and we'll see. So you can see these have lost all their sting now, no problem. So I'm just picking off the tender leaves, leave behind the tough stalks and um, we'll just pop them in the curry. We've emptied out the engine room uh, in preparation for the guys to come and fit the new batteries. This is the extent of the state of them at, at the moment. As you can see, there's wires coming in from everywhere. We've got three leisure batteries, one, two, one behind the exhaust pipe there. This is the starter battery. And there's stuff coming in from everywhere connected I mean, we've got lights connected to the starter battery for some reason, and uh, nothing particularly going through the fuse box, which it should be. We'd love everything to be high tech, control panels telling us what's coming in and uh, how much we're using, but uh, unfortunately our funds won't extend that far. So we're just gonna put the three new batteries in, tidy up all the wiring as best we can, and uh, it'll be a, whole lot better anyway, that's for sure. So, show you what happens later. What are you doing, Rich? <laughs> well, we've uh, bought some LED strip lights that self-adhesive. That's what it looks like. And uh, got all the connectors and switches. So we're going to put it underneath the gunnel. So we've got some cable and uh, that's the job for the next half an hour. And why is the boat in this sort of mess? Well, why have we got yeah. like, there's stuff everywhere. There is. We had the batteries fitted yesterday and we've ripped all the um, kickboard under there so we can put an extension cable in so we can get the lights underneath there and also um, fix the uh, gap in the flooring there was a huge gap just there so that's been fixed so I just got to put everything back now so lighting's done the batteries the new batteries, new are, batteries in. are in we're full of power we've got LED strip lighting under the gunnels the floor's been fixed and where's our list where's our jobs list oh yeah this is what we've got Stuff to do, to do. This is a list of everything that we we went through the boat outside <laughs> and inside. They are pink and blue, so that doesn't mean pink job for Fran, blue ones for me. That is pink is definitely needs doing and blue ones maybe need doing. Like uh, what's that? Paint, Paint the ceiling and clean up oh, table. The table. That's this table yeah. underneath all this stuff which is a bit shabby chic but it's a little bit more shabby than chic at the moment so, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got ex <laughs> these external repairs there touch up paint paint under gunnels handrails blacking so we've got a lot of touching up to do and um 
We're in the mind to be doing it now, aren't we? We're quite yeah. uh, enthused. And this is our view. This is where we've moored up. We've been here before, and the hill in the distance is the cloud, where we have been before. Um, but we know it's a lovely spot, so we've got water on the way here. We've got wood on the roof, one bag of coal, which we hope will be enough. There's a little co-op about 10 minutes walk away. So we think we'll just stay here. We've got power, water, food, view. And uh, hot water as well, because we cruise today. So who's going to have the shower? I am. I've got to wash <laughs> my hair. I'm a real mess. But we're cleaning and scrubbing uh. now. Getting The engine room stuff is all in the bathroom. And we've just got to just spend the day getting organised. Um, but by this evening we'll have our new twinkly lights going. Oh, and I also bought some twinkly lights for the crutch, didn't I? Solar powered. Yeah. Oh, they're really good Solar actually. powered string of little lights on a copper wire and we've put the solar panel from them on the roof and they're wound all around the crutch board and they last for about three hours in the oh, evening. Oh, more than that. Yeah, they're really so, good, especially on a day like today when it's sunny and the little solar panels really charged it up well. You can switch them off, but they're not on all night, so they don't disturb the wildlife. You know, they just come on for like for mm. the evening, and it's really lovely because in the summer when we have those doors open, it's just giving us another little bit of room. Yeah, so yeah, we're on it. We're on it, getting stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are with the new battery setup. Really neat and tidy. Look at that. Everything connected to these two bars here. Everything's fused. Nothing connected directly to the batteries. Really chuffed. And we've even we've even got a little simple voltmeter here. And currently they're charged to 14.4 volts. And that's without running the engine for two days. So the solar panels are really kicking in and uh, keeping us topped up. Fantastic. Just what we need. What are you doing, Rich? <laughs> Getting rid of these bloody awful cork tiles. Ever, yep. since, ever since we've had the boat, these things have been gradually falling off and it looks a bloody mess. So instead of putting everything back in the engine room, <coughs> tidying up, I thought I'd just get rid of these. When the boat was built, they just put cork tiles on the um, walls here in, in the uh, engine room instead of boarding it out like every other boat builder would have done they went for the cheap option and uh, it's uh, naff so that's what I'm doing this is what um, self-isolation does for you isn't <laughs> yeah. it <laughs> you're crawling up the walls <laughs> So we're having a real good sort out, aren't we? A real good, yeah. nothing major at the moment, but lots of niggly jobs that we've meant to do and I just haven't got round to. Um, and it that's is. it, we're getting on with it. Yeah, it's uh, tedious beyond belief. You <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> and who's this lurking outside our boat? Chris, morning Chris otherwise known as SOS Delivery Man, um, brought us fantastic, brought us a bag of fresh fruit and veg, but that's as close as he's gonna get. So he's come to admire our view, but uh, um, yeah, so we're doing like a drugs drop. We're doing a quick transfer of goods. <laughs> That'll get us through. So thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you. And you.